Hi and welcome to my Ableton Live tutorial series called Quick Tips. My name is Don John Philip. I'm a producer and Ableton certified trainer in Bangalore, India. In this series, we're going to be going through a bunch of tips you can use along with Ableton Live. And we're also going to be using the new and improved Ableton Live version 10. So here we go. Okay, so for today's video, we're going to talk about creative side chaining. And for this uh, example, we're going to talk about gated reverbs. So I'm going to play you something that I have over here. And what I want you to do is I want you to listen to the kicks, um, the kit, the drum kit especially, and especially the clap in that kit. So let's listen to it. I'm just going to solo that drum kit. And you can listen to that clap, how there's a nice airiness to that clap. So I'm just gonna take off the reverb that I put on that clap, that I've gated, just so you can have an idea of what it sounds like. Right, that's how it sounds without the gated reverb. And you know, it sounds a little bland and I wanna liven it up, which is why I've added this gated reverb. So let's have a look at how I did that. All right, so first thing is on my drum rack, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my chain list over here. Okay, that's over here on the left side of my drum rack. I have my chain list which shows me all my drum sounds on that rack. And below that, I'm going to open up my return tab. So this R button over here, which is for my returns, I'm going to open that up. And if you notice, I have a reverb and a gate which I've added over here. Okay, you can see this reverb and gate. Now on the reverb, this reverb unit that I added, uh, what I've done is I've made sure that it's 100% wet. And I've also made sure that my density is high. So that makes sure that's gonna make sure that I have a nice big reverb sound on that clap. And now after that, I've added this gate, which is side chain, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, and this side chain is gonna make sure that the reverb doesn't wash out the rest of the kit. So I'll just show you what it sounds like without the gate. So this is with the gate on. And if I turn the gate off, Right, you can hear how that reverb is really washing out the kit, so we don't want that to happen. So the next thing what we want to do is, um, after you know we added those effects on our return track, on our send section, okay, if I click on my S over here, my send section, I can decide what uh, part of my drum rack is actually being sent to those effects. So I'm just going to send this clap to my uh, reverb and gate. So I've made sure that I've increased the level that is being sent to uh, my return section, that is my reverb and gate. So only that clap is being affected. And then on my gate, what I've done is I've side-chained that uh, clap. So what I've done is, first what you'll have to do is you'll have to click on this little triangle over here. And under that you have the side-chain option, so make sure that's enabled. And in the audio from section, I'm gonna make sure that I choose the track with my um, <clears throat> drum rack on it, which is my cook kit over here. And I'm gonna choose the clap because the clap is what I wanna um, use to adjust the gate. So that clap is selected, all right? And what I've done is I've adjusted the threshold so that the gate is activated only when uh, that clap is being used. I've increased the release so I get a bit of that um, you know, that airiness from the reverb, and I've brought down the floor all the way to infinity, minus infinity, uh, just to make sure there's no spillover. And all that together gives me this sound. Okay, it's a nice big reverb sound on my clap. If I add it with the rest of my song, it has a nice distinct song now. Yep, and that's that's a quick look at gated reverb and how we can use that uh, in your song. And that's uh, a simple example of creative side chaining. Uh, hope this helps, and there you go. All right, hope that video helps. If it does, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you love it, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.